Hey Taurus, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for December 10th to December the 16th. And as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like um, or subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you would like to do, or don't do anything. If you don't want to do anything, I don't mind. There's also a bit of noise outside my window as usual, so I'm going to just try to ignore that or be as loud as I can as well. So I'm just going to start right now. Um, so. The first card you have for your past is the Five of Pentacles. Yes, this sad card. Um, yeah, I'm actually seeing some exhaustion in this card. These two people in this card, they're obviously outside. It's cold. They're walking along. They can't find shelter. So they're exhausted, obviously. So um, I think I'm just getting this feeling that um, you're exhausted at this time. I think that you might have had to cope with a lot of things by yourself. Um, I think, you know, you had a lot to deal with, you had big things, you had small things to deal with. But I think it was the small things that were really getting you down. I mean, little things like organising stuff, cleaning stuff, fixing things, fixing things people had left behind, all sorts of little annoying things that you had to kind of sort out. And they were really getting you down. It's like, you know, you were, I think, you know, when you were knee deep in a million different tiny tasks, you might have been thinking, you know, why do I have to do all this by myself? Why is everything taking so long? Why I have so much to do and why can't someone else do this? Why is it always me? All of that kind of thing. You're very strong. You are, you know you are. You're very grounded extremely strong um, and you know you can do things by yourself you know you can but it's not a matter of can it's like you know why should you have to that's what you're probably thinking so obviously I mean the first thing to do you I mean you know this eliminate anything you can that's in the way that isn't essential that you don't really have to do I don't think you're doing things that are unnecessary I think these are all things that are necessary or you were at this time um, but this is the emotional drain. It's like an emotional drain. It's not so much that you had a lot to do, even though that was physically draining. It's the emotional drain of thinking that you were the only person who could do this, or you were the only person kind of left to do this. You were alone with this. I think that's the main thing. That's the main problem with this. I think if you had a lot of people helping you or, you know, um, being kind to you or offering the help or even not offering the help, even if they're around you, kind of um, appreciating you, it might have made a big difference. But it's the emotional thing around this. That's what I'm trying, that's what I'm really feeling with this. Um, it's this feeling of kind of why am I doing this by myself that felt worse than the actual doing of the things or having to do these things. No one being around to help, no one being willing to help, if that makes sense. Um, the other thing I'm seeing with this card is that someone, someone might have been, someone else might have been feeling a bit left out by you. Actually, um, you weren't talking to this person at this time. I think you might have even blocked this person. Um, they were definitely thinking about you, and I think that maybe you hadn't seen this person for a long time, and I think. They couldn't contact you or they felt that they couldn't contact you or something like that. Either you'd block them or they just, or you hadn't and they just felt they weren't able to contact you. Um, and I'm just seeing that, yeah, they were afraid to as well. They were afraid to, but they wanted to reach out to you. They were feeling that they wanted to reach out to you. And I think their energy was coming out to you through the air, if that does, if that makes sense. It's like the energy was kind of flying through the air to you and you were feeling that. You might have been thinking about them. You might have had thoughts of them just pop into your head from nowhere. And that is the indication that this person was sending out their energy to you. That probably sounds a bit crazy, probably doesn't make sense to you. Um, but, you know, if this resonates, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because there's a bell on this boy in the front. It's around his neck. And when you have a bell, you're obviously trying to let people hear you if you ring a bell. And a bell really kind of flies into the sky. The sound of the bell really kind of floats out into the sky. Um, it's a vibration. You don't see it, but you can hear it. It kind of floats into the sky from one person to another person and it gives you a sing signal. It's like, you know, I'm looking at this, this is a church. So for example, a church bell rings out so that everyone in the town 
knows that it's time to go to church. So it's ringing out in the air, giving out a signal, sending out a vibration to get people to come to the church. And I think that's what was happening with this person. They were sending out a vibration because they wanted you to think about them and they wanted to bring you close to them. That's what I'm seeing. I don't think you actually spoke to them. I don't think you actually realized what was going on, but I think you might have felt that this person was reaching out to you if this resonates and makes sense to you. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have your past is the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, again, I'm seeing this person who wanted to connect with you, but they weren't able to physically connect with you at this time. Um, because there's a couple on this card and you know they're walking past each other in the center of this card but they're not connecting properly um they're just not they're just not connecting properly they they look as if they're just saying something like hello goodbye and they're kind of rushing past each other but they're not truly connecting i mean how many people do you see in the daytime and they say hello how are you fine thank you maybe you go to a shop maybe you drive up to something to order something maybe you you know call someone to do business or something and that's just what you say hello how are you fine how are you you don't really want to know how they are they don't want to know how you are you don't really know them you don't really connect with them and that's what's happening with this couple so they felt that they wanted to connect with you and they weren't able to so they were sending out these kind of vibes this energy out to you that's what I'm seeing the other thing I'm seeing in this card is that you might have been trying to build up your money at this time. You might have been trying to build up your savings. I am seeing you working very, very hard. So alongside all of this work you're doing in the Five of Pentacles that was really getting you down, you also had a lot of work, money-making work that you had to do in your job or your business or whatever this was. Um, I can see that this work and being busy and earning money and all of these kinds of things might have put up a barrier between you and other people, especially if you're single, especially if you're single. Because if you look at this card, the coins are in front of all of the people in this card, in front of everything in this card. It's like they're kind of floating on top of everything. The, the coins are creating a barrier between you, the person who's looking at the card, and the people who are in the card behind these coins. So that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that you might have been saying, oh, I'm really busy, I have to earn money, I have to do this, I ha and you, you did have to do those things, but you might have been using that as a barrier to, um, to put up between you and potential people if you're single or if you're with someone um, to not get close to that person or even friends, even not to get close to people in general, it might have been that. Um, yeah, because I think that, you know, if you are a single person and even if you're not, you have really, really been hurt in the past really, really badly. I see that a lot in your readings. But if you're putting up a barrier um, of being busy all the time, it's not going to fix those feelings. It's not going to fix that past hurt. Um, and it's not going to give you positive memories of the future. You're shutting out people. You might be shutting out people that might hurt you. You might be. But you might also be shutting out people who aren't going to hurt you, that are going to come close to you, that are going to be very nice to you, that are going to be kind to you, that are going to give you happy memories. So try not to shut everyone out. Just try, or you know, just have a think about this. I mean, you might not even realize, you'd be realizing that's what you're doing. It might be subconscious. So just have a think about this. Just have a think about this if this kind of resonates with you. The last card you have for your past is the Four of Swords. So yes, again, this is this hurt that I'm seeing in this card. You were really hurt. Someone really, really, really hurt you. And um, this hurt might have happened to you a long time ago. Uh, but it really, really affected you. That's what I'm seeing. And you're probably still coping with the fallout of all of this hurt. You probably still are now. I don't think you wanted this person back. I can see that um, you probably didn't. You probably still don't. 
um, but what happened between you might have really, really made you afraid of letting anyone else in, which is what I was seeing in the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you really are a survivor. You really, really are a survivor. You've survived a lot. You've survived this horrible person, this thing that happened to you, but you've also had a very turbulent life before you were hurt by this person, maybe in your childhood, maybe you had someone really abandon you at that time, or someone that didn't take care of you properly um, back in your childhood, and that gave you the sense of needing to put a barrier up. It might be that as well. So yeah, again, be mindful of this. Be mindful of who you're putting barriers up against. There are a lot of fantastic people out there who you might not be letting in. And they are going to be the people who are going to give you the memories of the future. You don't want to have your last memories of people as being negative, difficult, hurting you. You want your last memories to be um, of people who are going to be kind, nice to you. Sorry about my phone going off there. It's distracting me. I won't let it distract me. So. I think, yeah, obviously you still have a lot of healing to do. You have some processing to do from this past hurt that has happened to you. Um, just like the man in this card. I mean, if you have a look at him, he's trying to sleep. He's trying to rest. He's trying to heal from something that's happened to him. But he has these three swords hanging over his head. So he still has some time. He's still not quite over this yet. So I don't mean this to be negative. But, you know, again, if this resonates... Think about how you can address this. Think about how you can address um, getting through this, healing from this, pulling down this barrier that's between you and these other people so that you can move forward into the world without being afraid of people who you might meet in your future. I hope this all makes sense to you. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the first card you have for your present is the Knight of Wands. So yeah, I'm seeing someone who's a little bit, um, a little bit unstable, a bit like this knight on this horse. This knight's trying to control this horse, but it's jumping up and down out of control. You're a stable person. This person that you're dealing with or you're trying to help is a bit unstable. You're a very practical person. You're a very, very factual person and I think you might be trying to help someone and I think you might be trying to help them with factual kind of solutions and I don't think they want to hear the facts I don't think they're kind of stable enough to kind of see what you're saying to them if that makes sense and I think you really do care about this person you really do care a lot about whoever this is and I think you are trying to help them um, I am feeling a lot of love coming from you to this person. And you're probably a lot more patient than to, with this person than you are with a lot of other people. I think if it was anyone else, you probably would have given up on them by now. But you don't want to give up on this person. Um, there is a, a very, there's a lot of closeness between you. I'm seeing that and I'm feeling that. But personality-wise, you're complete opposites. And I'm just looking at the tunic on this knight um, that he's wearing. And there are lizards or salamanders on this, all over this tunic. And they're running around in circles, chasing their tails. So this is how these conversations are going between you and this person. You're trying to help them. They might be saying, oh, this is terrible, this is bad, this is wrong. And you're saying, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Maybe you could do this. Oh, I don't want to do that. You don't understand me. It's just a big drama. It's terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it drives you crazy that they're going around and around in circles and they're not looking for a solution to their problems. You're happy to talk to them about their problems if they are happy to see solutions or if they actually want to find solutions. There might be a part of them that might even want attention. They might be enjoying the attention that you're giving them. That's what I'm seeing. They might not want a solution. So I think at this time, you know, you've been around and around in circles with them or you are going around in circles with them. I'm seeing that. You might have to take a step back from them for a while. And it's hard to do because I can see that you really care about them. Um, this person has some other people they can talk to. Now, I think these are the people that they uh, have to talk to you might not agree with some of their ideas or something they have to say, but that's okay because they're not listening to you anyway. So I think you've done all you can 
And I think, you know, even though it might, it might seem that they don't appreciate you because all they do is whinge all the time, that's how you feel about them, but um, yeah, they do whinge all the time, but they do appreciate you um, in their own way, I think. <clears throat> they might not be showing that to you, but I think that's what they are feeling deep down. So let this go for a while and I think they will come back to you eventually and they will come back and talk to you and ask for your advice. I think they might have to go through a few things first before they come back to you. Um, but yeah, just let this go. Don't spend any more energy on this person at this time. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have for your present is the moon. So yeah, this is a very moody, dramatic kind of a card and I think this suits this person. So I think this is probably still about this person in the Knight of Wands. I think they might be, um, I think they might actually be some kind of relative because um, you've known them for a long, long, long time, I think. They might be younger than you. Uh, they might be um, quite moody, very moody. That's what I'm seeing in this card. You're not like that. Again, you're opposites. You're straightforward. You're trying to come up with solutions. You're trying to say, do this, do that. This is what you do. Oh, you don't understand. You're just bossy telling me what to do. That's what I'm getting from them. And yeah, they probably see your advice as nagging. It's like, oh, you're just nagging me all the time. You're just telling me what to do. Because I'm just looking at this dog and this wolf in this card, yapping, howling on both sides of this lobster as it's trying to come up this path. And that's how they're hearing you. They're hearing your voice as kind of yapping, howling, nagging, some kind of horrible noise. It's like, it's like they're kind of, um, they're hearing what you're saying, but they're not listening to what you're saying. That's what I'm seeing. So again, let go of this. They're not ready to listen to you. Again, they have a lot of deep, dark, difficult things that they have to get through before they actually realize that they need to come back to you. That's what I'm seeing. They'll be back, they'll be back. So try not to stress too much about this. Try to just let them go and let this whole thing go. They'll come back. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have for your present is the Five of Wands. Yes, so again, I don't mean to keep on seeing this person in the Knight of Wands, but this is someone who you really do care about. This is someone who you really, really are trying to help. That's probably why they keep on coming up again and again. And that's what I'm seeing, so that's what I'm talking about, this person. Again, this is another warning to tell you to just let this go before it turns into a crazy fight or a mess or something like that. Because if you look at all the people in this card, they're all fighting, uh, but nobody's winning. Nobody's on top, nobody's in charge. It's not going anywhere. Again, this is just going around and around and around. He's hitting him over the head, he's hitting him over the head. It's all a great big mess. Nobody is getting anywhere with this. So um, that's what's going to happen if you keep on engaging with this person. Let it go before it turns into this crazy kind of mess. Um, you don't want to descend, to descend into that. You want to just let it end now uh, before it gets worse and you end up arguing or something like that. Um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is competition. Competition can be good. Competition can be very good. There are two sides of competition. Healthy competition, which is when, you know, uh, you're kind of up against someone else, say in a race or something like that, or, you know, whatever in the workplace, and you're both friendly, you're both fine, but, you know, you're both in there to win and it's healthy and no one's bothering anyone else. That's absolutely fine. The kind of competition I see around you sometimes are people who are a little bit jealous, who try to kind of pull you down, all of that kind of thing. I think you're used to that kind of competition around you. I think you know it's there. I think as you climb higher in your workplace, and I see that you do work very hard, I can see that in the Ten of Pentacles and also in the Five of Pentacles, um, the higher you climb, the more of these people are around you. I think you know that if you weren't climbing higher, you wouldn't have these people trying to pull you down. I don't think you're even bothered with them. I think you know this is just a matter of course when you are doing well. So again, just ignore them. Just ignore them. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And I think you know that and I think that's what you're doing. So the first card you have for your future is the Knight of Cups. So I'm seeing in this card, I'm seeing, yeah, there's a lot of, there are a bit of mixed feelings or there are a few mixed feelings I'm seeing, I'm kind of feeling around this. Someone's coming in to talk to you, 
Someone is probably going to come in to flirt with you. I'm seeing someone who's attracted to you. I think this is a very, very attractive person as well. They're a knight in shining armor. Um, I don't think this is going to get very far though, I'm sorry to say. For one, you have your barriers up. Um, but for another thing, I think that another reason might be that uh, they're not going to act on this any further. They might be having fun, they might be flirting a bit, but I don't think this is going to get all that far. One, because of your barriers, but the other thing is they probably have unfinished business, that's what I'm seeing. They might have some loose ends they haven't tied up. They might have a relationship that isn't quite finished. It might be that they're still married or they're separated, but they haven't quite taken that step to get divorced. They might still be backwards and forwards with someone else. So of course, if you're serious about getting into a relationship with someone, you do not want someone like that around you. Now, this is a really fun person. They're nice, they're fun to have around, they're funny, they're friendly, um, and they're attractive. So you might just like talking to them. But I think if you do want anything serious, I don't think this person is the right person for you. I think they're a very um, confused person. I think, you know, they kind of still have some ties to someone in their past and they can't quite let go of them. And I think they might be the kind of person who has a problem making a decision. They kind of want you, but they don't. They want them, but they don't. They want someone else, but they don't. And they kind of never quite ready to kind of jump out of a situation and totally jump into a new one. They have kind of all of their kind of, um, they kind of have their foot in every kind of um, position. They kind of don't want to take their foot out and commit to one of these people. So it's not that they're cheating. It's not that kind of thing, but it is a kind of a, a blurred, they have blurred lines, I think, blurred lines between them and other people and you as well. So just be aware if this person is around you, if they're very attractive, just be aware that that's the situation. So the next card you have for your future is the Knight of Pentacles. So yes, again, um, same thing. If you're attracted to this person in the Knight of Cups, they might eventually move on from whoever this is in their past. They might eventually properly separate, divorce, whatever it is from this person, but it is going to take an age for them to do it. This Knight of Pentacles is the slowest, the slowest knight in the world. It is the slowest of all the knights. It just sits there thinking forever and ever, and it doesn't actually do a lot. Now, sometimes this is the stable knight. Um, this is this means stability, but you're not going to get stability with this person because they're going to take forever to make up their mind. If you do, don't try, try, try not to let yourself get serious about this person. Try not, if this resonates, try not, and you'll know if it does, you'll have this feeling around them. Your instincts will be telling you. Um, try not to get too involved with this person because if you fall in love with them, if you start all of this, you're going to be really frustrated with them not wanting to move forward with you. You're going to be really frustrated with their indecision. You're going to be really frustrated with them kind of um, not cutting ties with this other person, kind of sitting around, stuck in the mud, not moving. That's the energy I'm getting around this. Now, they're a nice person to talk to. You might just want to be their friend or you might not, but please try not to get in too far with this person. And I think, again, I think your instincts are telling you about someone. If this is the person who your instincts are warning you against, this is probably why. So please follow your instincts. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have in your future is the King of Cups. So yes, again, I'm seeing this same person again. This person is all over the place. This king, his eyes are one way, his body is the other way. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's hiding his feelings from this person. He's, he wants to jump out like this fish in the water, but he doesn't want to. He wants to hide what he's doing. He's kind of passionate, but he's putting that behind him as well, and he doesn't want to. He's kind of all over the place. Nobody knows what he wants. Nobody knows what he's doing. Everyone is confused about this person, 
And that's how you are going to be if you let yourself become involved with this person fully. If you want to be their friend, fine. If you want to just have a fling with them or you want just a friend with benefits or you want to just have fun with them, fine. But please try not to get overly involved with this person because it's going to be a life of you second guessing yourself, being frustrated with them. Because again, they're going to be just like, oh, I don't know, maybe I want this, maybe I don't. I can't make up my mind. Oh, give me some space, I'm not sure. It's going to be like that. I'm sorry, that's what I'm seeing. Sorry, cross watchers, that's what I'm seeing. I can't help it. So Taurus, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like, please subscribe if you'd like to, or leave a comment if you would like to. Thank you so, so, so much for watching.